Hello, welcome to the Choose on Purpose podcast where we live with intention. I've been talking a little bit about wanting to do the intro before each one. So I'm going to actually like read through like a quick one. And um, I'm joined with Kelly Fox. So she's going to hear me say this live. <laughs> so um, the podcast is really here to fuel your fire. And to celebrate those fierce determination of the multi-passionate um, leaders, I am Becky Plouts. I don't think I even said my name. Becky Plouts, your host. I'm a seasoned um, empowerment portrait photographer. I'm a firm believer in embracing fear as our friend to go further, faster, and have more fun in our life. So this is really about creating a dynamic space for us to dive deep in the heart stories of those who are willing to shift with fear and to walk through those challenges and embrace life as um, the lessons that we receive each day. So um, this is all about those exploring those um, what we'll say detours in our life, those rest stops and the green light moments that really shape the leaders that we are today as community builders and um, caregivers, and I'm a mom, I know Kelly's a mom. So we're female leaders, right? And we understand that juggling acts that happens and that we're gonna have candid conversations around topics. And specifically this conversation is around sharing moments. This is the theme that we have this month in the Work on Purpose of Purpose community. And this time frame is really to have discussion around that monthly theme. And I love acronyms. So you hear me talk about acronyms during this specific episode. Um, and our theme, again, is share moments. So I'm going to talk about moments as our acronym today. So Cal, I'll be dropping my little snippets in the chat um, as we're going to have conversation around this. And again, you're going to talk and share on the conversation um, around the topic as well. So Kelly Fox. Yes, well, yes. Thanks for joining me to talk about yeah. moments. You know, I have no problem with talking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we love to hear you speak life. I love it. So, so let's talk about, let's dive in and talk about the M for moments. And okay. um, if you saw last month's episode around this, Kelly joined me as well. And we kind of riffed on different um, ideas that she had around the acronym as well. So the M for me is to make time. And Really, that's about prioritizing the things, the people, the um, important things in our life and really being able to make time, which is like to craft it out and to plan for it. So that's the M for moments in my life. If it's not on a calendar, digital or paper, if it's not somewhere that it is planned for, then it can't happen. Like it just it is too much chaos in my life to like do a lot of things on the fly unless it's open space on purpose. Like if, it, if it's intentionally open for freedom to flow in there, that's different than just like spontaneously not knowing what's happening in my family or in my business um, or the, the passions that I have, right? Like I have to prioritize those. So it's all about making time. Cal, what do you think about making time? Yeah, I definitely like that M. So I didn't add anything different. I didn't have anything else that came to mind. Um, so I love make time. I think that, um, you know, as moms, we make time for ourselves, right? But as I have found that as my kids get older, I I need to set aside time to be with them. They're not coming to me anymore. They're not necessarily wanting to hang out and talk. Okay. Um, they do still sometimes. Uh, they'll right. come in my room and they'll want to talk to me. They'll want to ask me questions. Um, but it's usually me coming to them and saying, hey, how did your day go? And, um, and not yeah. only with my kids, but with my husband as well, making that time and then other people that I want to connect with, you know, we're here about connection and, um, you know, making time to text a friend or uh, making time to 
go to uh, certain networking events or gatherings. Um, and I think also making um, time a priority, you know, um, my, like you, my count, if it's not on my calendar, it's not happening. Even sometimes right. when it's on my calendar, I right. forget. <laughs> I look at my calendar so many times a day because I'll get lost in things that I'm yep. doing and I'll forget that I have something going on. Uh, like I was late to this. So <laughs> um, I think that uh, making time is really, uh, really good. And um well, yeah, I think, and I love that it's yeah. about, you know, making, making the space, right? And I love that you brought up the fact that you are now in a transition because your kids are, you know, older than mine. And, you know, I do, there's definitely times that I need to go to them and put myself right in front of them and make myself a priority to them because they're in their own world a lot of times also, like the rest of us. and. I think that that's a really great point of, of being, you know, willing to also put ourselves, you know, where we need to be or where we're choosing to be, um, in a mindful moment, right. In a meaningful space to be able to, um, open ourselves up. So that's the, O, open heart and like open ourselves up to, those moments, right? Those intentional priorities that we set for ourselves and we make time for, it's really, for me, it's about opening my heart to know like, okay, this is, this is important for me. It's intentional that I have it on my calendar. There's a reason for it. And, you know, I also put in there in the description to really think about how to be receptive to the emotions and the experiences you know, for myself, for other people, because that also gives the meaning for me. So if I'm open to, you know, that space, I've already made a priority. It's already been put on my calendar. And I don't know about you, Kelly, but I don't put things on my calendar that I don't care about. You yeah. know, I tend, yeah. I tend to put the, the things that I, at some level, you know, I care about it. I, I put it there for a reason. It's just not because someone told me to do it. You know, I'm in charge of my phone and my calendar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's as entrepreneurs, right? There's mm -hmm. very, very few things that we have to put on our calendar, right? We choose how we spend our time. We choose uh, connections. We choose workshops. We choose um, whether we go to um, other people's workshops, right? We choose our calendar um, when it comes to being a mom, we don't always choose, um, but when we're making appointments for our kids, we're choosing when those appointments are, um, you know, so it's, um, I, I love that you said open hearts. Another thing that came to mind was open your mouth, because I think that sometimes we <laughs> let moments pass because we're scared to say what we're thinking um, or we're hesitant to say what we're thinking because we don't know how it's going to be heard. And I think that sometimes moments can be lost because we didn't mm -hmm. open our mouths and say what we were wanting to say. And what we want to say can be something positive, right? It could be yeah. saying, I love you. Um, and, and when we when we don't say it, it usually comes with regret. And so I think that um, even if it's something challenging, like a conversation that we don't want to necessarily have with someone, usually having the conversation is better than not. Um, and that is a moment that, yeah. um, that we're sharing with that person. So that was the other thing that I heard or that came to me when I was thinking about um, the O, but mainly because you said open heart. But I think it definitely is um, important for us to have um, an open heart and open mind to um, the experiences that we have every day. Yeah, 
oh, there's a there's a whole nother um, episode of podcast episode inside of me that happened from a story. So I'm just going to put it here to say that the what you were just talking about with, you know, missed opportunity sometimes. So an O could be about opportunities, too, because when there is, you know, something that is a challenging conversation or challenging moment, we'll, we'll go with the moments theme, right? That's happening in our families or in our businesses that, you know, we want to kind of glaze over and um, move past it. And that's where like the emotion comes in play. And we're like, okay, are we being open around it? And that, that brings vulnerability, right. To be open in a lot of those situations, but there's a, there's a whole podcast I know inside of me episode about that specifically. So maybe that's something that'll come in the future is, okay, let's move these acronyms to, you know, these being micro episodes and really getting to dive into some stories that I think that are on my heart to be able to share um, a little bit more. Um, so that's really good. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to move to the other M. So the, the, M, the second M I put down is mindful presence. And we've been kind of talking about this a little bit, but we're going to get really to the point and talk about being present in the moment, right? Because if we are scheduling time for um, tasks, you know, that are important in our business, if we're scheduling that time with our family, then, okay, now when we come there and we're open to having those moments and being receptive to the emotion, the experiences that we're having together. Okay. Now being present, being able to yes. really be in the place that we're at because we've chosen it, because we're here and we're being open, right. And being able to put away distractions and have, you know, the full attention of the people in front of us and give our attention. So mindful presence was a, is is a big one and i mean that's one of our core values in our in our culture inside of the work on purpose with purpose community is be present it is the first one actually <laughs> it is about being here now and being able to open that connection because i fully believe um you know if we're if we're not then the connection isn't as strong as it it definitely could be so mindful presence is that second m yeah, I love that. I mean, we have to be present in the moment for it for it to be lasting. If we're not really paying attention and we're not there, then the moment is going to be gone. It's it you're not even going to remember it. And I yeah. think that um a way for me to really um to really make a memory strong is to check in with all of my senses. What mm. do I see? What do I hear? What do I smell? What do I taste? And in those moments like that I've done that, like mindfully done that, I still remember them. And one is from when I'm 15. So it's, um, that's the earliest one. So, and that is one of my most valuable memories um, wow. because it's, a really strong memory that I have with my dad. And yeah. so it, and when I did that, I didn't know it was going to be, right. you know, a memory that I was going to cherish forever. Mm -hmm. Right. And, but it, it is right. So, you know, taking the time to really check in and connect with that moment that you're having, especially when it's, you know, a special moment, something that's you think is going to yeah. last or, or stick around, you know, I mean, sometimes we could even, I mean, there's so many times where my boys, my little boys are laughing and I'm tickling them or we're, or they're telling me like the craziest story. And I could be, you know, anchoring those moments in more. I definitely could be, um, yeah. you know, because they, they happen all the time. And I definitely think that I take advantage or not advantage, but I take them for granted. That's the word I was yeah. looking for. Yeah. I love, I, I love, you know, talking about the senses and I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
you haven't even seen this, but I'm putting them in the chat. So it's funny because the E is engage actively. And that really is being able to be present. It's asking those questions. And I, I would have immerse yourself in the experience. And I think that's exactly, it goes so hand in hand and perfectly with what you just described about the practice of using your senses and really intentionally anchoring it in, even if it's not like, I'm going to remember this forever, even though I definitely have had those moments where I'm like, I'm going to remember this forever. This was so great. And how can we actually move towards anchoring those moments into our subconscious to be able to bring them forward to, you know, have that active moment become a memory, you know, so, so moving from just having this moment, right? So the topic is share moments, but I think we're really talking about that mindful presence and then moving into really engaging actively in a moment this is how we anchor it in to be memories, okay? So that's where we're getting to in this. It's going to keep unfolding. But the E for the acronym of moments is engage actively. So I love that Kelly shared that um, tip to be able to say, like, use your senses. What do you feel? Really take in. What do you smell? Really actively, you know, telling yourself, reminding yourself that you are here to be present in the moment and receive what is for you in that time frame. Um, I can, I can definitely share a quick story about that too, to say, um, you know, I was on a, what you might call a bucket list trip. We called it a live trip, which was, we lived this list out. We intentionally went and sought these experiences out to check them off our list while we're living. Not while we think that we, you know, have to do it before we kick the bucket. So to say that's a bucket list, <laughs> but we went to Iceland and I was intentionally anchoring in the moment standing in a field with the Northern lights in Iceland, um, with my husband, with my business partner, dreaming up the focus of the future and really anchoring in with, you know, what we were tasting, what we were, what we were looking at and really getting to dream up the future. So that was just like a quick story about how I have actively engaged in the moment because I wanted, I set the intention that I wanted to remember it from then on. So the N is nurture connections. So cherishing those connections that we make with other people, right? Being able to have that time and build the relationship in a way that we're bringing our presence, right? We're cultivating that relationship and giving it, I love Kelly, you said lasting. You, you talked about those lasting moments and that brings moments to be memories. Right. That's nurturing that connection with whoever is engaged with us in the moments that then creates memories for us to move forward in our life with. So nurturing connections is the end. Yeah, I love that. I think that it also goes back to kind of a couple of the other ones that we've that you've shared today um, that it's it's being on purpose with the relationships that we want to nurture. Who are those people in our lives uh, that we want to have those deep uh, connections with? Who are people that we've just met that we want to deepen that connection with? Um, because we're constantly meeting new people, um, you know, mm -hmm. or at least given the opportunity to meet new people. I don't leave my house very much, so I don't <laughs> meet new people very often, but I definitely have the opportunity to leave my house to make new <laughs> connections, right? So right. Um, it's, it's purposely putting that time in to, um, to nurture the relationships that are important to us. And I think that's why I make time to connect to my kids. I make time to connect um, and check in with my husband. You know, there's friends that when I think about them, I text them, you know, yeah. or um, I try to um, keep the relationship that I have with 
um, my older sisters, um, you know, I try to keep it there um, because I don't see them often. Um, they're half. So I don't, I don't see them as often. Right. And so I can't, you know, cultivate that relationship when we're together. Um, and so I make that a priority that when they show up, I'm there and I'm all in and I'm present. Right. So I love that. I love, um, I love the word nurture. And, um, I think that that's definitely important. Yeah. I love that. You're segueing beautifully, Kelly, into the, into the T, which is treasure small joys. And I think that really goes with what you were just mentioning about, you know, how often we see or put the energy into the people that, you know, they aren't in our direct atmosphere all the time. And it does take making time. It does take all the things that we've been talking about in order to get to the point of, you know, really cherishing those memories that we create because we could choose not to, we could choose to um, be on autopilot or not show up at things. And it really goes to say, and I wanted, oh, and I did want to, it just goes to say, right? Like what we put our priorities to, what we set our intention for, you know, we can, we can choose that and we can choose something different and something different. And I also wanted to just point out, like, this is a great example. You being here in the live room with me right now, Kelly, tells me that you are here to nurture a connection with me and with the followers of the Choose On Purpose mm -hmm. podcast, because the community has an invitation to join us in this room and have a group conversation. And Kelly Fox is the one that's here, right? Like, we have those invitations and we have those opportunities to cultivate relationships so many times, but what is a priority for you right now? Right now, this is a priority for Kelly. She showed up even when she said she was late. She came and she showed up because this is a priority for her. It's on her calendar. And I'm so grateful for that. So <laughs> tre treasury and the small joys is a great um, segue for that. what that T is, the treasure. Um, and I really yeah. love that thinking about treasure. So I'm curious if you have anything else to say about treasure small moments. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you, when you were talking, um, OP is definitely one of, um, my connections that I nurture and that I show up for. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I show up and I don't even know what I'm going to do. I mean, I always <laughs> have things I can do, um, right and stuff, but I show up for that first 10 minutes or even that last 10 minutes to connect, um, to connect with the community. Um, and that is important to me, um, to, uh, to connect and, um, stay connected. And I think that, um, sorry, I'm a little distracted. I think my husband left. Um, and, uh, and so, um, treasure, I love that word. Um, it makes me think of a treasure map. And, um, I think that, um, it, it, it can be compared to a treasure map or because we like car references, a road map and, right. you know, your destination. Um, and, um, you know, because there's things to do to get there. Right. right. And, those things are things we've talked about um, in, you know, in the previous um, letters um, to be able to get to the point where you can treasure those small joys is by being present, is by nurturing, is by being on purpose, you know, and open hearted and all the other things that we've talked about. Um, yeah. You're not going to even see or notice those little moments of joy if you're not connected if you're not um um aware that they're happening yeah yeah absolutely I love that and and the s shocking it's going to be share your stories so right we're talking about the acronym of moments and the s is about sharing your stories because this is where we connect right? Like when we have experiences and stories to share, this is how it strengthens our relationship and our connection because, um, you know, we can see ourselves in stories or 
relate to a feeling inside of a story, right? Because I can't relate to having six kids like Kelly has six kids, but I can relate to being a mom. I can relate to the challenges and the, the things that come up around, you know, being a mom. So there's, there's stories that connect us in that's how we start nurturing and doing all those things around the, the memories that we create intentionally because we're doing all of those um, steps along the way, which just seems so obvious, but really breaking it down and understanding how much our presence, like the power of presence was coming. That's another um, episode definitely needs to be called the power of presence from our conversation. Are you taking notes? Are you writing these down? I have it recorded. This is great. All right. That's true. Uh, I I have it recorded. Um, So, uh, you know, in, in looking at those and just understanding how much there is, there's everything is content people like everything is content knowing that these conversations and the conversations that you're all having at your dinner table in your car like those are moments that can be transferred into memories if you do what we're talking about you anchor them in you be present in the moment you really look at it as an opportunity to engage and have an active relationship that's being nurtured along the way so um the the, i'm gonna just say the acronym really quick again which is make time open your heart be mindfully present engage actively nurture connection treasure the small joys and share your stories and I would love to know what your feedback is about this. Share a story with us um, and let us know, you know, how this can help you in your, um, especially right now, we're in the month of November. So how are you sharing the moments with the people in your life or your clients in your business? Like what are those opportunities that you'll take that you will take um, to be present with them and to share with them? So Kelly Fox, thank you so much for joining me and the show today to share your ideas and your strategies around how you share some moments intentionally. And I just, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, we get to know each other when we share our stories. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, it's so funny because when my husband shares a story that I have never heard, <laughs> I'm like, what? I thought I knew all your stories and, um, you know, and our kids love hearing our stories and, um, you know, and that's how you get to know someone is you, yeah. you hear about their, the things that are important to him. Cause those are the things that you remember, right. Are those, those times that were important to you, those times you were all of these things, right. Are the memories yeah. that you remember and that come back to your mind and that, you know, um, are triggered when you're having a conversation and you, you want to share them. Um, you know, uh, when my kids share stories, it's not always fun. Like, remember that time you did this? And I'm like, yeah, no, no don't remember but, that. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you, you find out what is important to them, what they're remembering. Right. And yeah. you can take that opportunity to, uh, create, different kinds of moments and memories that they can remember and tell you about. Mm -mm. Yeah. Let's rewrite that memory. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -mm. I love it. I love what you said. Um, just really quick before we wrap up is I I love that you said, um, that you do all of those things, all of these things, because that's, you know, one of the tag guns I had on my email signature at one point definitely was, um, all of the things do all of the things on purpose or with purpose with purpose, do all the things with purpose was my signature. And some of it still is my signature on my emails. Um, And saying all of the things with purpose is really what it is, you know, being able to say, this is like a little checklist for you to just check in with yourself and say, how are you, you know, being ready to share moments with someone right now and be really intentional and choose on purpose how you want to move forward with it. Because if it isn't, the way that you want it to be, you can make another choice. You know, you can choose to adjust one or two or all of these approaches to how it can support you in, in your relationship building. So 
All right. We're going to wrap up the podcast. Subscribe. Let us know what you think about this episode, how it's supporting you. And we look forward to hearing from you next week.